Brie Larson has been one of many voices in Hollywood that continues to scream and cry about the inequality between women and men, but they are, at the end of the day, they are really just screaming into the wind when this none of this really has anything to do with the facts of reality. Because, let's face it, um, she she has a good. <laughs> Brie Larson has a good. She uh, she landed this incredible role for her in the in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and she's basically had to do nothing to earn the the respect of others. She she's getting everything that she ever wanted in this universe uh, on a on a silver platter, pretty much. She is going to be the new face of the MCU. She's going to be everything for the future of the Marvel Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it all came without ever having to actually work for it but they continue to cry about the inequality between men and women in hollywood and the inequality of everyone apparently in hollywood who isn't a straight white male um and now we have here some interesting information. As we all know, Robert Downey Jr. was paid $500,000 to be in the first Iron Man movie. Um, that was his fee for that. And this report here says that Brie Larson was paid $5 million for her movie. The thing that the thing about this is that it, to go even further into this into this craziness, Chadwick Boseman was only paid $2 million for Black Panther. So Brie Larson got over double what Chadwick Boseman got in his film and uh you know these are all, all all three of these are origin films but which one gets paid the most it's brie larson brie larson got paid the most for her film out of everyone else but yet there's inequality between women and men in hollywood it's just not true and you you guys continue to cry about things that that really don't matter that don't have weight at the end of the day you are crying about things that aren't even issues except for the fact that you guys are making them issues when they aren't really even issues and free larson was so about equality was so about more diverse representation in hollywood and all of that stuff why didn't she refuse the five million dollars that she was going to get paid for her movie and why didn't she say something along the lines of hey i want to give three million of my pay to chadwick boseman because he's a black person who deserves more more of this than I do. Because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to to support the the minorities in Hollywood. But that's not what happened. She she readily took that money. I'm sure. I mean, who wouldn't take that money? <laughs> I mean, I'd take any of these any of these uh, these paychecks that these people got. But seriously, it's just crazy. And it continues to just show that Hollywood is just uh, full of delusional idiots who uh, continue to. Uh, scream and cry about things that really don't have the weight that they think they do and this speaks a lot for a lot of people um, that are on the far left side of the political spectrum at this time where they continue to uh, cry about things that aren't even based on facts that are just really just based on their own reality and their own reality is a very skewed thing and a very uh, twisted thing and it's just not what is actually reality so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video um you know brie larson's an idiot she she just is and it, it continues to just show more and more how a lot of the people in hollywood are just complete idiots and complete fools so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you all very soon in another video talk to you later bye